Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, let's, let's pray before I say anything. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. I just ask that your Holy Spirit, please give us the revelation of your humility and your, your meekness. Father God, I just ask that you please, O oh Lord, help us, Lord, to not hate. Help us to not like other people. Help us to love them, even to love our enemies, Lord God. I just ask that you please bless us, Lord, with your revelation. Give us your understanding. Open our eyes. Open our blind eyes to see, Lord. Father God, I just ask that you please, O oh Lord, please bless each one of us. And even do those who, whom we disliked or hated or, or whatever, Father, we want to forget them all. And we want to bless them, Father God, that they may be, even them may be the children of God. Blessed in spirit and body and and so on everything. Father God, in Jesus' name, Father God, Jesus, please save them, Father, save them. Save them, Father, save all those people. Save all of us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yeah, so I thank God that uh, the greatest revelation of 2015, maybe it is or maybe it's not, I'm not sure because it's not ended, but maybe one of the greatest revelations that I have ever had in nine years of my uh born again life um, before I thought I was doing okay <sighs> what a pride what a pride God opened my eyes uh, to see just a little bit further I believe just a little bit further I was totally blind before I was totally blind that I was so prideful I was so prideful and I apologize if I hurt anybody through my words through whatever I did to you, I, I really ask for forgiveness. Forgive me. I, I was blind. Forgive me. I was wretched, prideful, blind. Uh, let me explain a little bit, like what I, what, how I realized what I realized. So, uh, some people kind of got me a little bit mad and angry, right? And I was like. Even though it was righteous anger or whatever you want to call it, even though whatever, I was justified to be angry at them because they did something wrong to me, hurtful to me. I was just totally justified to be angry, but the reason I was angry is because I was prideful. Every single time when you're angry at somebody because of their mistakes or whatever, it's because you think you're a little bit better than them. At least a little bit better than them. In whatever mistakes that they made, you think you're a little bit better than them. At least. You probably think, I probably thought I was way, way much better than them. You know, but, but whatever. At least a little bit. You think you're better than them. And that's pride. When, you, when you're envious of somebody, or, 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 you know, it's because you think in your heart you deserve a little bit better. And that's pride. That's pride. When somebody's making more money than you and you're not happy because you think you deserve better or you think you should be better than them, envy is because of pride. When whatever knowledge you have about the Bible, with whatever knowledge you have, if you think you're right and they're wrong, whether you're right or not, that's not the issue, you have pride. Because you think you're a little bit better in the knowledge of the Lord. You think you're a little bit higher. And that's pride. And I realized this, and it set me free. The truth really set me free. Like, uh, I'm talking about like what kind of freedom is it? It's from the moment I was birth. I was driven by a lot of things by my parents or whoever. From the birth, survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. You need to study. You need to be the best. You need to um, study well. Study well means study better than other people. 
So when you're studying hard, or when you're doing something hard for whatever reason, and people praise you, saying, oh, good job, right? Good feelings come, oh, I, I, I achieved something. I, got, I achieved something. And there comes praise and whatever. With that good feeling, crept in pride. Pride that you're a little bit better than others in this way. You're a little bit better than others. The whole society is built upon prize giving, right? You do well, they give you prize. You feel good about yourself. Hey, that's pride. That's pride. If you get this right, if you really understand this, it will set you free. I guarantee. I guarantee. I feel. I feel so free. Right now it's over uh, 10, 10, 20. I didn't sleep that much uh, today. It's supposed to be past my sleeping time. I'm not tired. I, I swear, I'm not tired. I feel like even my my health is like springing up with new life. I really do feel that. And I'm, I'm constantly in peace, constantly in joy because all the stress was because you're a little bit prideful. If you have any stress from work, if you cannot enjoy work, and you're, you feel anger, you feel disgusted even, that's because you're prideful. And deep, 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 you think, you think you don't, you know, you shouldn't be suffering in any way. It's because of pride. I'm telling you if, you, if you really think through this, you realize that your complaining, your complaint is because you're prideful. You think, let me, let me give you an example. Oh, the dishes are dirty and you need to wash the dishes, right? Maybe, maybe not, maybe I don't know. But you and your dust, you say, oh, it's dirty. Ugh. It's because you think you're cleaner than the trash. You think you're cleaner than the dirty dishes. It's pride, my friends, it's pride. When you're cleaning the toilet, oh, you think it's dirty. You think you're cleaner than the toilet seat. That's pride. It's total blindness on your eyes. It's total blindness. And you cannot do it happily, joyfully. You're not able to thank the Lord that you have something to do. You're, you're not able to thank the Lord. You're not able to praise the Lord because you think you deserve better. And that's pride. If you really get this, let's set you free. I can tell you all my videos that you've been watching before, full of pride. Maybe the knowledge is okay. Maybe the knowledge and revelation is okay. But uh, how I represented it, you probably could. I could probably see my own pride. When I look at them, probably I'm, I'm so disgusted. I'm so disgusted by my own self. I thank God by, that I'm able to see a little bit further now. Amen. Anyway, let me just explain a little bit more so we, we kind of get this. Uh, when we're angry at somebody, right? You're angry at them because you think you're a little better than them because you know, even, even though they got you angry, you think, how can they treat me like this? They're lower than me. You know, this kind of, this kind of thoughts, you know. Why is that person so bad in this area, whatever area? Why are they so bad? Why are they getting me angry? You know, because you think you're higher than them. At least a little bit. Even though they hurt you, you cannot love them. Because in your mind, you've been trained so much with by competition, you think you're a little bit better than them. And they don't deserve that happiness. When you're envious of other people's success, it's because you think you deserve more better things than them. When you cannot be happy when your enemies are doing good, it's because of pride. little bit of frustration in your life unable to thank the Lord it's because of pride it will set you free oh but they hurt my hurt my family they did this to me 
they did that to me. You are saying in your heart, they need to be punished because they're worse than whether they're worse than you or not. It's not the matter. You so think that you think that you're better than them. That's pride, and that's hurting you. That's making you age faster. That's killing you. That is totally killing your body. You're not able to realize the light is full of darkness in you. When you, when the Bible says you, if you dislike somebody in your heart or whatever, you're you're filled with darkness. Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty nine, right? Come to me, all you that labor and have laden, I'll give you, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly, and I'm humble. Jesus is so humble, you know, that when the devil came to look for any kind of pride, he couldn't find. And Jesus says, the devil came to tempt me, and he found nothing in me. He had absolute zero pride. Absolutely zero. That's why he was 100% submitting unto the Lord God, the Father's will. You know? Um, and you shall find rest upon your souls. You shall find, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If whatever you're doing, you have heavy burden. Oh, that every day you wake up, oh, I need to fight, I need to fight, I need to fight, I need to fight, I need to fight. What are you fighting for yourself? Because you're building yourself upon pride. From the moment when you're striving to fight, from the moment you're fighting, you don't have that truth in you that you're you're acknowledging that you're uh, prideful, that truth. Over the Bible says, oh, we need to strive to enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? Strive to lower yourself. Strive to serve, be a servant. Strive to be humble. Yes, it takes, it doesn't come, you know, I need to probably meditate upon this tomorrow, that I'm prideful. Where, where, what? Whenever you have some hurt, whatever is hurting you, you're giving you stress or giving you hurt, is because you have pride in that area. Whatever is hurting you, you acknowledge that that you're you're getting hurt because you're prideful. When somebody says something something that you didn't want to hear, like some criticizing words or whatever, if you have a little bit of pride to protect yourself, like no, that's not true. That's not true. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. You know? Oh, you're wrong. That's pride. That's, that's heavy pride. And it blinds you. Pride blinds you. Pride cannot make you see straight. Cannot make you see clear. What's really ahead of you? What's really hurting you is not that person. It's your own pride that is killing you. From within. It's killing you from within. Punishment of sin is death. The, the result of having pride is sickness in your body. Whether you're worried or whatever, it's because you trust yourself but you don't trust God and that's pride. I hope you really, really get this. If you really get this, it'll set you free, man. It'll set you free. Just gotta strive to be humble every day receiving it from the lord who's humble receiving his teaching who's humble when you when you get this your eyes will be opened up like um to be totally free amen hallelujah new strength will arise new power will arise from the lord who's in you because god works with people who are humble and meek I mean, God even works with prideful people, yeah, you know, honestly, you know, He worked through me, I mean, like, I was so prideful, I don't know why He worked through me, you know, but still, yeah, God used Samson, right, I mean, He was pretty, going His own way, right, He wasn't listening to the Lord, 
Oh, but God used Samson, right? The Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, didn't he? God used donkeys and chicken and whatever animal, right? Let's lower ourselves. Whenever we're criticizing, whenever we're arguing, whenever we're bickering, whenever there is strife, is because of pride. Nothing else. Because you and the devil, me and the devil, we and the devil, whatever. All that pride. And there's no difference between the devil and you. Because devil fell because he wanted to be higher. And even he wanted to be higher than God in the end. Right? So he fell with pride. Humans too. Adam and Eve, when, oh, when we're blaming somebody, oh, you know, Adam blamed Eve. Oh, it's her fault. It's her fault. It's her fault because of her. I sinned and I ate devil. And Eve go like, oh, because of the devil. The devil made me sin. The devil made me sin. I'm clean. But the devil made me sin. That's all pride. They did not acknowledge that there, there, is, there is their fault. No matter what happens in your life, acknowledge it is your fault. Whether you understand it or not, you have to acknowledge some parts of you is something wrong. God, God is the one allowing bad things to happen. So that you've realized that you're wretched and prideful and evil. Once you realize maybe this and been acknowledging, Mom, oh, I'm so prideful. Forgive me, Jesus, forgive me. When you cry and, and repent from your heart, then maybe the Lord will start blessing you and taking away all the curses away that was the result from of our pride. Don't think you're sinless when you say you, you never sin. You make him a liar. The truth is not in you. We're miserably, desperately wicked. I'm telling you. Whatever, we're miserable, desperately wicked. If you don't think that, if you don't say that, you don't know anything. And that's full of pride. Really. Really. How oh, yeah. Well, I just praise the Lord, you know, who gave us this knowledge. We just praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank God. Father God. Help us to be true brothers and sisters of Christ, together in love and unity, in no envy, in no strife. Father God, help us, Lord, to be humble, 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 almost humility, Father, that we'll truly love one another and truly care for another, that we wouldn't fight, that we wouldn't be, be angered by anybody's mistakes or their, their faulty whatever. Father God, we, we, just, we just want to be humble and have no pride. That the devil won't find anything in us, Lord, to grab onto. In Jesus' name, I just ask that you please, Lord, bless us to be humble, spiritually, physically, financially blessed with the new life of God, a new man of God. And thank you, Father God, for giving me and us this revelation in Jesus' name. Praise you and thank you forever and ever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you forever and ever. Glory to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Thank you. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.